we that table is dirty mm, mm, mm. hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today we are going to be cleaning and refreshing my screen porch as well as the patio area i am super excited to share with y'all what i have done to the space just to switch it up a little bit not a lot but just enough to make a slight difference because you know, I feel like my furniture and everything is straight, so I didn't spend a lot of money. I just changed it up just a little bit. So I'm going to give you, or I am giving you right now, just an overview of how we are starting. Um, I'm going to link my video on the screen and in the description box of what I did last year to the area. And then we're going to see what we're going to get into this year. But I'm so, 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 so happy with it so far. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How you doing? And if you are new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. We have good times here, good vibes only. My channel is about decorating my home, cleaning my home, just having good vibes, y'all. Um, doing some organization and things like that. And if that's your kind of thing, stick around and at the end of the video. If you like it, join the family leave me a comment let me know where you are watching from i would love to give you a shout out and say hey 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 thanks for being here now let's just go ahead and get on into it oh yeah y'all these y'all remember these solar lights from last year if you watched the video mm -mm. and look at the grass oh my goodness y'all <laughs> let's just go ahead and get into this okay In case you're wondering where Fred is while I'm doing this, um, I wasn't patient. I didn't feel like waiting on him to come outside. So, you know, sometimes us women, we just go ahead and get it done when we want to get it done. <laughs> now, this thing right here with this grill, y'all, y'all see how easy I'm just inching it out? It's because I don't like frogs or lizards or, you know, anything that moves faster than me. So, yeah, I was just being real careful. And then I heard like something swoosh, 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 swoosh. So the day before it had rained and there was some rain in the, I guess the drip spout or whatever of the grill. So I dumped that out before I even made a bigger mess moving this grill around to the other side. So yeah, y'all enjoying yourself so far? I mean, we're just decluttering so that we can clean. Oh my goodness. And this rug, whoo, ooh, it was soaking wet for one thing. If y'all see, even when I had stepped off the concrete, my footprints were on there, but I had to wrap up that rug and put it away or throw it away and then here y'all is just the debris that's accumulated oh and this patio mm, mm, mm. all of that where it had rained under the rug and just sat there if you look up at top up up at the top there's even like some green spots so you know i can't wait to pull out my handy dandy pressure washer and just get this taken care of so i'm just gonna sweep this stuff off and just keep cleaning everything and let's just keep going Now I have removed everything off of the patio and out from the screen porch area. And as I looked at the screen area, I was like, you know, I really don't have to pressure wash in here this year. So I'm just going to clean that rug off and then we're just going to put everything back when it's time to decorate. Moving right along, Fred is actually clearing the path for me to put down some rocks that I want to do to kind of judge up the space around the patio. But check this out, y'all. Y'all know that like... <laughs> we 
when that weed eater runs out of string and you got to boom, boom it to get it going. <laughs> I love when that happens. All right, so here is the space. And Fred is taking his shovel and just digging out some of the spaces that weren't level. He's just leveling it out for me. And this is the end result of that. I cannot wait to do the, hey, y'all. <laughs> I cannot wait to do like the edging around here. It turned out so good. Oh, and then I had to take a pause because ding dong, my new rug came in for the patio. And I was just so super excited to go ahead and open it. And then I knew I needed to let it lay out for a little bit so that it could flatten on the corners, on the edges. Y'all know how that is. But baby, my friends. Ooh, ooh, this rug did not disappoint. First of all, I went up in size. This rug is an eight by 10 and the blue hints in it and there's like white and then there's like gray. It's just the colors that really are already on my patio or on my screen porch area. And last year I did say I wanted to get a bigger rug. I held off till, till this year. It was on sale at Wayfair. Ooh, it feels so good. I walk on it with no socks on and it feels good on my feet. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. All right. Whew. Contain yourself, Nitra. Moving right along, y'all. Here are the new solar lights that I ordered from Amazon. And at first I was like, how am I solar lights in these little small boxes? So I'm unpacking the boxes. Oops, okay, all right. I'm unpacking the boxes. And you know, first thing I'm gonna try to do, not look at the directions, cause I'm like, they're solar lights. They all go together or you assemble them all the same way or so I thought. So there is the top and you gotta see this y'all. When I give you the close up view and the night view of this, but okay, like I said, didn't look at the pictures, tried to screw in the um, pole, the post of it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Aha! Look, the stake was in the inside. This packaging on these solar lights was genius. So the stake was in the inside. And then I had to peel off the top but peel off that plastic covering for the solar part. But then there's a battery that goes in. So it's like a rechargeable battery, I guess, from the solar. But look at how this goes together. Then the post goes on or the pole screws on. And then the stake. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody was creative in this packaging. So I'm laying them out just so that they can soak up some sun. But look at them, y'all. They look like little crystals. Like, get into it. <laughs> So I thought I was going to put them down, but first I wanted to put in this weed and grass foaming edger. So the purpose of this is so the grass or weeds don't grow back under where I'm going to put the pebbles or the rocks. Because I really just didn't feel like going through putting down the tarp or whatever. And so far this has been doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm well pleased with it. I had to figure out, you know, which way to point this the little sprayer and make sure that my fingernail didn't get in the way. But it foams up really quick after I apply it. And it said, you know, it can be rained on within 15 minutes, but you can't disturb the ground for seven days. So I wasn't able to put my lights in for seven whole days or put the rocks down. I was so disappointed. But nevertheless, I waited it out. And now I'm just going to go ahead and pressure wash this patio while I'm out here. And then we're going to move on to the next part. I really hope that you are enjoying this video so far. Leave me a thumbs up in the comments if you are liking it. Now, this pressure washing will never get old for me. It is so soothing and satisfying to see those black marks go away. All right, I'm getting ready to put the pebbles in. You see, I already put the solar lights in. So let's just keep going. I'm just going to be honest. When I first put these rocks down, I did not like the color they were at all. But it turns out, y'all, they was just dirty. See, look, after it rained a couple of times, this is the color I was going for. God is so good, y'all, because this right here, it is giving what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on, because y'all got to catch the vibe for the whole outlook. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek at what it looks like at night. You ready? Bam. Look at it look at it Woo -wee. 
I love these lights, y'all. I'm just, I love these lights. They look even better than the advertisement. Show them. Like my whole pathway is lit up. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at it. Look at it. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and decorate the screen porch. I don't know if y'all saw earlier in the clip where I was um, pressure washing, but I had already moved this furniture back in because it had been seven days. I wasn't going to leave my furniture sitting outside for seven days uncovered. So now we're going to go ahead and add pillows and everything, okay? These lanterns I got last year from Michaels. Now this set right here, I purchased this year from Michaels. They were the same price as the ones from last year, but do you notice anything different? Okay, here are the ones from last year. Look closely. And now I'm gonna show you the ones from this year. Do you notice the difference? Yeah, there's no glass votif inside this year. Like, okay, Michaels, I understand. Inflation, but doll. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put these pillows on <laughs> I had to laugh at myself but these are the same pillows from last year I had got these from Walmart last year y'all I just washed the pillow covers and then put the inserts back in to give them a fresh look these throw blankets are new I got them from Kirkland's if you watch my front porch video from this year you saw where I had got the green throws from there Well, these are the same type of throws. I just also got them in a yellow color Didn't know what I was gonna do with them, but they were only eight dollars good quality I think they were eight dollars might have been six, but yeah good quality So I was like I'll figure something out They may come in handy and they did because hold on I'm gonna show y'all what really got everything together in just a second this pillow right here both of these white um, lumbar pillows they came from Walmart last year as well I know I got two different chair cushions but watch my video from last year you'll see why <laughs> now this baby right here is where the pop of yellow came in first of all you receive the message just relax but I got this pillow from Hobby Lobby oh my goodness maybe a month or two ago now I think it's 50% off now for their spring shop sale. I really don't remember. But yeah, so my pop-up color is yellow for this year. Going to go ahead and wipe down this um, tray right here. And I'm going to add some different florals and a different vase onto it. The vase I got from Target. The florals I got from Kirkland's. Both were on sale. I will link what I can below. Y'all know I try my best to get that done if you've been here with me. But yeah, <laughs> so this was supposed to be a Lazy Susan. It turned last year. I don't know why it wasn't turning like it was supposed to this year. Maybe because it was still wet. I don't know. But yeah. All right. Hope you're enjoying yourself and getting some ideas. This tic-tac-toe game I got last year from Big Lots and it had faded just a little bit so I'm taking a dry erase marker because if you don't know I am a teacher and I had a brown dry erase marker laying around so I said I was just going to color it in. You know I did what I could do. I went out the lines a little bit but for the purpose it did what I needed it to do and I like it so. <laughs> But I haven't asked y'all, what have you done to your space to freshen it up or even just to begin decorating? Let me know in the comments because I'm always open to ideas and I love hearing what other people do.
I am so pleased with the way everything has turned out. Oh my goodness, that pop of yellow really brings a whole new vibe to the space. I love the rug. I just love how everything ties in together. And I didn't have to make that many changes to make the space feel different. Like, oh my goodness, I just really love it. Now, I will say that I do have some curtains that are already ordered that are going to come and I'm going to film putting those up um, well Fred and I are going to put those up and then I may add a couple of more pieces like some lights around where the lanterns are I haven't figured that out yet but please be sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss that video or anything else that I upload but y'all I mean the vibes is are just amazing i come out here during the day sometimes i just sit and listen to the birds and feel the breeze i take a nap sometimes i come out and just catch up on um, some shows that i'm been binge watching sometimes i come and you know read something it's just so peaceful and serene out here like i really love it okay here is the nighttime reveal Y'all, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to just let you take it in for a minute. I'm like literally sitting here just smiling and grinning as big as I can just feeling so thankful and so blessed to be able to have a space like this y'all I do not take it for granted this is just oh my goodness what a blessing I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that it has given you some inspiration to refresh or decorate your space. You don't have to spend a lot of money just to refresh something out. Make it your own. You're only out to impress yourself. Okay? Make it functional and comfortable for you. It is your space that you and your family will be living in. I mean, from living in a house to living in a part an apartment to two more apartments before we were blessed to purchase this house. I do not take this space for granted. I just feel so blessed and I just want to encourage you to create a space 
for you that just brings you peace, brings you joy. You just have good vibes. And y'all, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> like I said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Click this like button. That helps you to push out my video to more people. And I am just going to relax in my space. Drink me some sparkling grape juice and have a good evening. Until the next one, y'all. I will see you later. Bye.